Hey guys, this is Andrew Holmes from Chicago Ria, and we're back in the studio with uh, Joe Ebanks, and he's all the way here from Tampa. And I thought, why not? I heard him actually speak for the first time um, on wholesaling at an event in Tampa at one of the meetings, and we wanted to have him uh, fly in. So him and his wife have been gracious enough to come in, and they're going to be speaking to the mastery group tomorrow. So we thought, why not kind of make a video and see how somebody does wholesales all the way down in Tampa, Florida. So, Joe, welcome to the studio. Hey, thanks for having me, buddy. Definitely, I man. Appreciate it. Appreciate so, it. So I wanted to, and I really mean this sincerely, like I've uh, seen a lot of people at the RIA, right? You were one of the first ones that I saw where I was like, it was truth and nothing but the truth. Right? So yeah. I don't know if you took the oath before you got up there in front of people, <laughs> but it was certainly valid information, no BS, and uh, hence we wanted you to kind of come and share that with a lot of people from Mastery. Yeah, so yeah. let's kind of take the uh, whole thing back. Yeah. How did you happen to get in real estate, basically? Well, if we go all the way back, originally uh, I started as, as a loan broker, actually. I worked for J.P. Morgan Chase. I Where are you for from, Wells Fargo. originally? Originally, I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey, okay. Jersey, Army veteran. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that's originally where it started. I'd see gentlemen that I write loans for all the time and mm -hmm. that, that were doing deals and uh, rehabbing properties. And I was like, you know, well, why, why not me? So uh, I originally started rehabbing back in 2003. That's pretty much what I, what I cut my teeth on okay. uh, until I went through the, the crash in 2008. Okay. Lost a ton of money, millions of dollars. I said, oh, I'm to hell with real estate. I'm done with this. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I just kind of went down my uh, entrepreneurial path, uh, started a commercial real estate bit, a commercial uh, Landscaping company was really successful with that because I actually had that because I was paying myself to cut the lawns of my rehabs and, and my rental homes. And then I, I, owned a, I owned a jazz club for a while. Okay. That didn't work out. I thought that, yeah, I'd love to own a club, right? Now, so you tried all the cool things. I tried all the cool things. But I was making a ton of money, so I tried all the cool things, and that okay. didn't work either. So, I mean, I just kind of followed my, my passion and went back to real estate, okay. which, which was, at the time um, was wholesaling. I attended okay. a, couple, a couple of REA meetings, kind of just like, like yours, and... Uh, I thought I saw that that was the new hot thing to do at the time. Right. What was it called at the time? It was called assigning a contract. Assigning a contract. Originally, back in the day, it was called assigning a contract. Because I know some buddies of mine, like me and you, we'd say, yo, I got, I got too many re uh, rehabs going on. Would you like to take this rehab take the, on? Yeah. And basically, if I took the rehab on, I gave you, it'll give me a little something. A couple thousand that bucks, kind, yeah. We, we went down the, the road. It was a great yeah. relationship. We kept going. And we were talking about this, right, just <laughs> before uh, we got started. And I was saying that... In our market, I mean, the average wholesale fee, right? We don't blink an eye, 15, 20,000 bucks is like, yeah. you know, and a couple yeah. thousand bucks doesn't, I mean, that's chewing up money, right? Yeah, right. So, <laughs> you know, so um, you kind of started with wholesales, right? A lot of times, wholesales is promoted as no money, no credit. What they don't say is you do need a brain, yeah. right? And yeah. you need to work. And some right? common sense. And some common sense, right? <laughs> you can't just sit on the beach and play with your iPod, iPad, not at uh, all. smoke a cigar, and make loads of money. Right? That's the dream they push, that's, that's but that's the, not the reality, okay. right? So let's kind of uh, pick up, what was your introduction to it, right? Where did you start for the first time? Yeah, yeah. So when I got back into real estate, I mean, I was dead broke. I okay. just lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in the nightclub, and my wife had to go back to work. And my main priority was to get to fire her job, right? Okay. So, I mean, I was up all night stuffing envelopes, you know, Craigslist, attending every RIA meeting I can mm -hmm. to try to educate, educate myself and get as much knowledge as possible. Because, look, knowledge is king in this business. We all know that. And, I mean, just really hustling and really working super hard uh, to try to make it happen. I okay. Mean, so you said you mentioned mailings. You mentioned Craigslist, Craigslist, yeah, yeah. right? So you were kind of going and kind of trying to basically shake the trees anywhere. They Everything were. that was free was what you, I was doing. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did you do any bandit signs? Can oh, you yeah. do that in your area? Uh, yeah, love bandit signs, but look, every area is different. Uh -huh. Like there's some areas in, in our in our town you can do it and not be fined. Right. And then some areas you can do it and be fined two hundred fifty dollars a sign. But there's so, a lot of people that have a lot of time on their hands in Florida. Right? Yeah. They tend to have gray hair and white hair, and they don't like... like Man, let me <laughs> I'm tell you. just kidding. Look, I'm kidding. There was a story recently that aired on the news that there were these two retired gentlemen right. that all they do during the weekend when code enforcement is off, 
when you think, okay, I'll get my signs out yeah. on a Friday, I'll go pick them up before sun. They go oh, pick up. They all ride the around and uh, with their pickup truck, and all they do is pick up your signs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're looking for something to do. And I it's mean, crazy. And I was just kidding. I, I didn't realize. No, that people, it's true. But it's I can see people doing that. But uh, so you were. You started with kind of things that were free at that time. It was not yeah. like you probably didn't have a budget, right? Didn't have a budget, couldn't afford a mentor. Okay. I mean, I was mentoring myself through YouTube videos and, you know, that kind of deal and, and uh, just trying to pick the brain of anyone that would let me that was really an authority in the space. And I mean, that, that's really what I was trying to do, try, just try to, to learn this, relearn this business. Because, you okay. know, so much changes between, yeah. you know, every Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Absolutely. So... If kind of that's where you started, right? Mm -hmm. um, w when was this? That was back in 2015. 2015. Yeah. Okay, so you started October 2015. October I remember 2015 it well. yeah. is when you started. Got it. Yeah. And then at that time, what kind of success did you have? I mean, was it like just gangbusters at that time? What, no. Where, what, what, what was happening? No, I mean, it actually took me um, January 25th. Okay. Of 2016 was when we, we closed our first deal. Okay. January 26, 2016. Yeah. Okay, got it. That's I mean, the just, first deal. What kind of money did you make on that first deal? Uh, the first deal, we did really well. Okay. Um, I want to say we made about $55,000 $55, in that first deal. $55,000 yeah. deal. And was this a, like a three four hundred thousand dollars deal or a smaller deal? No, no. That, that was more of a, a aha moment. But no, the deal, I think, was only, a house was worth more, more than 200000 Okay. So small deal. Yeah. You found it at a great price. Yep. So this was basically off-market type of deal, like probate? It was a, pro, it was a it probate. It was a probate. It was okay. a probate, yeah. It was a probate. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Since then, how has your business evolved? Have you, did you keep doing wholesales for the first few years? Kind of what happened exactly? Um, mostly everything has been wholesale. Okay. Um, I did throw a couple of rehabs in there because, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll find those couple really, like, hot deals in there. Got it. And I said, okay, well, I'll keep this one. I'll rehab it okay. or I'll sell it. or I'll, I mean, because, look, the key is not to constantly wholesale deals. You want to keep some of the stuff. Got you want to flip some of the stuff. I mean, that's where the real money is made. Got it. Um, but, but, yeah, I mean, I, I just really. Uh, so in your market, right, in terms of when you're doing a wholesale, uh -huh. uh, because your market, from what I know, Florida market has more damn wholesalers than anywhere else and, that and, I and know. And gurus. And gurus, right. That's true. <laughs> that, that's true. I mean, every kind of guru, uh, every kind of get-rich-quick quick scheme comes out of Tampa. Besides uh, you, you Utah. Better, you better right? believe it. So, so let, let me, uh, in terms of the competition, let's start there. Because that's something that a lot of people will talk about, right? Yeah. Competition in your market, what are you seeing today? I mean... I'm not really a person that is, is swayed either way on the mm -hmm. competition. Mm -hmm. I just really concentrate on what myself and my team does. Got it. But yeah, I mean, there is a ton of competition ton of, in Tampa. Okay. I mean, you have, you have every guru teacher is out of Tampa. Out of Tampa. Okay. Out of Tampa, Tampa or Arizona. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's, it really just depends on what processes and systems that you're using, okay. I mean, that, which, which is going to make you the most effective. Got it. So in terms of um, kind of how you were doing business at that time, Mm -hmm. At that time, you were trying to use free resources. Absolutely. Uh, at that time, how has the business changed today? I mean, are you doing mailings? Are you buying stuff on TV, ads on TV? Are you doing mail? I mean, are you doing bandit signs? What are the key things that you feel are productive for you? Sure, sure. I mean, right now, I mean, we, we run a gamut of things that we do. Uh, SMS messages, RVMs, uh, uh, direct mail, Facebook ads, okay. uh, SEO. Um, I mean, we, we do a ton of things in order to uh, generate the volumes of, of leads that we're looking to receive on a weekly and monthly basis. Got it. So let me just kind of take it piece by piece because you kind of touched on a bunch of stuff. You yep. said SMS. SMS, for a lot of the viewers, uh, mm -hmm. should be something familiar, which is basically your text Yeah, we're texting, we're texting people. We're texting people. Yeah. Um, you said RVM. Yeah. Describe what exactly RVM means. It, RVM is a ringless voicemail. Okay. Basically, if you ever look at your phone, you're like, you know, I didn't hear my phone ring. But you have a voicemail message. Right. That's an RVM. That's an RVM. Okay. So I'm going to actually come back to how are you identifying the people to reach out in a bit. But I want to kind of go through the list that you just rattled off the top. Sure. Right. Yeah. The next thing was direct mail. Yeah. Right. And this is a question that comes up because, they're, well, Andrew, you know, does direct mail really work? I mean, I don't know if most yes. people have looked up their <laughs> mailboxes lately. You know, we get tons and tons of direct mail. So does it work? Yeah, it does, but you have to know how to do it. Okay. Um, and in terms of, is there a metric? Like somebody, tomorrow people are obviously going to be 
uh, at the meeting for mastery, right? So you're going to break a lot of these pieces down. But yeah, is there a metric that people should think about? Because what I've seen a lot of people do is like, man, you know, I had a budget of 8,000 bucks. I spent it all one month. And then next month I didn't do anything and this doesn't work. I'm like, well, no kidding. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, what is the like, is there a you look at, OK, I need six touches, seven touches. Is there a metrics that you look at? A absolutely. Look, you have to have a marketing plan mm -hmm. to be effective. If you don't have a marketing plan, you'll just do exactly what you just said. Right. You'll blow through five, seven, ten thousand dollars and never get anything and say, hey, this real estate thing doesn't work. OK. When it's just you executing wrong. Got it. So basically there is a business plan uh, for that, that you don't have to have a lot of money, but whatever you have needs to be used judiciously. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, got it. So the next thing is, you said Facebook. You mm -hmm. actually find deals for wholesales on Facebook. Absolutely. Okay, all right. Facebook uh, is an outstanding source okay. right so now. So are you guys doing like organic reach? Are you doing paid? Are you doing like ad manager you're running ads through or all of the above? All of the above. All of the above, okay. Yeah. And then is this somebody you hire a company outside or it, you're doing it internally? No, I've, I've, I've outsourced that. You've outsourced that, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. And this is a company that specifically deals with real estate type of thing or it's just general advertising? No, the company that we use, uh, they, they are social media marketers. Okay. But, so you, but okay. They, they do specialize in uh, real estate lead generation. Okay. So basically you're using a company specifically based on that. Absolutely. Okay, got it. And all the things that we're talking about, if people want to reach you, uh, we're obviously going to have your information available, yeah. right? We'll post it in the comments and they can reach out to you. Correct? Absolutely. Okay, great. Absolutely. So, and then next you, you also said ads and SEO. For people that don't know, are you doing any like display ads on the Google network? Are you doing that kind of stuff or, or do you have a landing page? What sort of thing are you guys doing there? Yeah, we actually have several landing pages. Okay, got it. Um, like for instance, uh, our website is Tampa Bay Home Rescue. We have our offmarketproperties.com. Okay. Um, but we, uh, we, you know, also like sell your house fast, sell sure. your house fast offers. I sure. mean, we have, we have several ways that when someone goes on to Google or Bing and they search, I need to sell my house fast or I want to sell my house fast, um, that we're the name that comes up. Got it. Okay. So you've gradually, as you made some money, you put that money back, lived Absolutely. on a little bit, put that money back over the years, Absolutely. you guys have built up this presence. Absolutely, I mean, you have to do that. I mean, a fantastic book that I read, my wife and I read, it's called Profit First. Okay. And if you don't have that bro breakdown in your business to where you know, okay, this is for my personal, this is for my business, this is for my taxes. It's, I mean, these are things that you have to, if you're trying to run a real estate business, these are things that you have to you do. You have to do, okay, got it. So. Uh, the next thing uh, comes up is you also, we kind of talked about it, and that was SEO, right? Yep. So you're doing search uh, engine optimization Absolutely. Uh, for your websites, for everything that you're doing on the net. Absolutely. And that's also something that you sub it out? Yes. Okay. So with this sort of a thing that you're running, what does your office look like? It's you, uh, I imagine now your wife is a part of this whole business today. Is that correct? Right? Absolutely. I've been okay. able to convince her to come on board. Got it. Okay. <laughs> so she quit her job and then... I you fired her job. Fired her job. Okay. <laughs> so do you have an assistant? How does that work? Absolutely. So my office consists of about six or seven people. I have myself, my wife, mm -hmm. uh, my acquisition team, which consists of two people. Got it. Dispositions, transaction coordination, okay. and um, I guess you want to call my assistant slash uh, social media person that works in-house. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And then these people, are they all on payroll or is it based on the general production and they get a kind of a piece of it or it's a uh, half and half sort of thing? No, no, that's a great question. Um, my acquisition and disposition people, they are they get paid what they what they what they do. Produce. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You eat what you kill. Okay, got it. And uh it's, and same thing for uh like my uh transaction coordination people, they mm -hmm. all get a percentage of the deal. So okay. it behooves everyone in the team that you know, I, I can't make money unless you make money, unless you do your job. And if you don't do your job, she can't get paid. And if you don't do her job, he can't get paid. Got it. So for people that kind of look at uh, this sort of a thing. I mean, this is a uh, rather quickly. I mean, 2016, man, we're 2000, end of 2019. Yeah. Right? This is not a long time, right, in this it's business. It's not, it feels so, like forever. No. Yeah, no, I, I understand. <laughs> but, I mean, clearly you guys have been working. Yeah, we've been right? busting our ass. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, and I'm glad you said that because a lot of times, I mean, what pisses me off about real estate people, yeah. right, is what they see is the end result, yeah. right? What they don't see is how much work goes into it, right? Absolutely. Even for me today, still. Like today in the morning, I was out, but 
right after that, I went, looked at the property. A lot yeah. of people have this impression that, oh my God, you got all this going on, man. You don't, no, guys. Yeah, they think I don't go out any, I, I still right? go out to every yeah. property. Right, okay, good. Because like, I know one thing for me, like, I mean, just to give you a scale on how much I work, I see my kids every morning, mm -hmm. I drop them to school. But nine times out of 10, I miss them before they go to bed at 8 o'clock. Sure. Because I'm still in the office working. Right. No, I mean, and, and I'm glad that somebody who is a real life entrepreneur, a business person, yeah. nowadays I am sick. I am sick of this BS of work two hours a day, three hours a day. Guys, yeah. listen, once you find, the yeah. guy who wrote the book, he works 15 hours a day. This yeah, is what, yeah, yeah, this right? is what pisses <laughs> me off about all this BS. It's like, listen, man, find something that you love and do it better than any other person and then go enjoy the rewards. I mean, that's what this yeah, is really exactly. about. Because look, right? when I go on vacation, I right. go on vacation. Right. But during Makes the day, I, I work. Okay, good. So now, let me ask you this. As far as total budget for the month, right? Mm -hmm. Mailing budget, marketing budget, what sort of numbers are you guys looking at? I mean, we, we probably spend about anywhere from, from eight to ten thousand dollars a month. Eight to ten thousand bucks a month. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And you're still doing a good chunk of mailings? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we do something that I'll actually talk about tomorrow, right. which is called the golden list. Okay. Um, where, where we really nail down. So when, with mailing, you can, you can no longer cast a wide net. You have, to, you, have to, you have to be laser focused on what you're doing. Got it, okay. So uh, in terms of, so let's say somebody comes to you, right? Mm -hmm. And they go, man, I love this. I mean, real estate is something I've always wanted to do, blah, 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 don't have a lot of money, but where do I start, right? What would you, because the problem today is this, that it used to be it was lack of information, yeah. Today, there's too, too much, much information, information. Yeah, right? Yeah. And every person, you go online, every person is a guru, yep. right? And nobody asks, what have you done? Because everybody who just has an opinion, yeah. right? And has a big mouth. The bigger the mouth, <laughs> the, the, the more you know. Yeah, I mean, that's just what's, exactly. So, Show me a check. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, and so what do you do? Where, where would you, what would be a place to start? I mean, right now, I mean, because because people constantly come out to me and like, Joe, can you help me? Can you mentor mm -hmm. me? But Joe don't have the time. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the first thing you have to do, I mean, there is enough information out there. Right. Is you just need to go find out the basics. Right. And I'd say if you re if you really want to learn this business and you really want to become a student of it, go 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 intern with someone. Yeah. That, that knows this sense. business. That knows the business, correct? Because I mean, you could find out so much right and wrong information out here. But if you find someone that's credible, that's really doing what they say they're doing, then hey, look, I mean, because look, I know I've done it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I've given six months of my life to someone to learn this business. Right. And I just tell them, hey, look, I'll work for free. What do you need? So what do you I, need? On, How can on, I help I, you? I missed this. I missed this. So at one point, you went and actually mentored, I mean, interned with somebody. Absolutely. And then you kind of learned from day. them. Yeah, yeah. When I first got into this business, Back in the early 2003, 2004, I used to live above a, a gentleman that owned a real estate construction company, uh, and he was an investor. And every day at like six o'clock, because I had worked a full-time job, I'd come down and he'd actually spend his time with me and I'd do like whatever you need. Yeah, okay. What, right. do you, what do you need? Okay. How because, can I provide value to you? Because right. I can't ask you right. for your time, which is $1,000 right. an hour, right. and I can't provide anything. Right. No, I mean, and, and this is something that it's kind of always fascinating to me, right? Uh, that people who do nothing, yeah. right, they ask first, what can I get, right? Yeah, exactly. And there are other people who really grow that they want to serve first, and guess what? The rewards come, yeah. right? And, and this is just true in life, like anything else, that if somebody doesn't recognize your value, somebody else will, exactly. right? And you put in the work long enough and hard enough, guys, life will reveal itself to you. And it, it doesn't will. matter in real estate business or in, in any life. other business, it's life, yeah, right? Exactly. So anything else as we wrap up, uh, this has been kind of great. I think a lot of people will get inspired and fired yeah. up about the interview. Uh, yeah. But before we, our goal today, uh, right after the interview, is we're <laughs> gonna go to the executive airport and we're gonna go, there, since they're in Chicago, go take uh, we're gonna go <laughs> fly, right? So I'm like, have you guys been on a private plane on a trip? They're like, no. I'm like, well, we're gonna do it tonight. So, but- Wait for this flight for months. <laughs> right? So, uh, in all seriousness, um, how do people contact you? Uh, is there a way that they can learn what you're talking about? How does that happen? Yeah. Uh, do couple, you have anything? I mean, no, 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 because I, I didn't even know that. No, no, absolutely. Right? I, actually, because so many people over the years have asked me 
to help them or mentor them, and I don't have the time. I actually put together a course. Okay, you that did. Kind of, that kind of breaks. Now look, it's not high level. I wasn't right. trying to reach that high level guy that's trying to make six figures. Not right. what I try to do. I just kind of broke it down in layman's terms. That's why I call it the six figure course. Right. Uh, if you can make six figures in a year, it would change your life, right? Yeah. It changed mine. Listen, man. So uh, you know, at one time that was a hundred thousand bucks. It's so all the money in the world, right? So yeah, it, uh, it, you got to start, right? Yeah, you got to start. I mean, and, and I will go through tomorrow, like in the mastery class, step by step. I mean, unbelievable. But if they people want to reach out to me, they can find me at Joey Banks on Facebook or Cashman. That my nickname, Cashman, pays cash on Instagram, or, or, or shoot me an email at info at Tampa Bay Home Rescue dot com. That's info at Tampa Bay Home Rescue. Yeah. Right. Info at Tampa Bay Home Rescue dot com. Yeah. So guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. This has been great. Yeah. So let's go. We'll go flying. Thank you, my and man. And we're gonna have fun. See you next time, guys. <laughs>